going on tubers. So, I've been eyeing off these uh, super safe 190s SBF, SBS 190s um, for a couple of months now. I mean, sitting at the scrap yard and there's a bloke that was meant to come and buy them. He never put a deposit on them or anything like that. So I put the hard word on my uh, scrap guy and I said, come on, I want to buy them. He says to me today, 50 bucks each will do. These have been sitting on a pallet for more than six months in the uh, in the warehouse there. Um, I believe they came from the Hydro Scheme uh, as backup batteries. A lot of you guys will be fairly familiar with the form factor of these beasts. Really heavy, 60 kilos. Um, well, 132 pounds. That's handy for my uh, American friends. Now, big deal with these beasts are is one thing. Yeah, like I'm really surprised. I haven't charged them. Look, I've got dew on them. I just dragged them in out from outside. We've all got 12.6 and 12.7 volts in them still. They've been sitting there for like at least six months. This, these had other batteries sitting on top of them on a pallet for months. So I bought four. He's had, he had four, so I bought all of them. And uh, even more than the fact that I bought all four of them, this is like eight kilowatt hours usable for 200 Australian dollars. We will test them to make sure that is the case. Uh, they are marked October 2013, so they are six years old. Almost six years old. But if these have been sitting the way the majority of batteries sit in those backup style situations, these have done nothing. Uh, yeah, rated as non spillable. Oh yeah, and it's 190 amp hour at a 10 hour rate down to 1.8 volts per cell at 20 Celsius. So that's at a 10 hour rate, not a slow old 20 hour rate like your normal AGM style battery. Power supply gives you a good actual perception of how big they are. They're not, not horribly big. But yeah, I'll have a look on their website later and see if I can tell you anything special about the SBS 190F. Um, you might remember the big yellow one I might have made a video about previously. So we're not. So these. 12.9 look at that that is amazing just amazing so these are going to be one part of my 24 volt system in here I did think 48 volt um, still got a 48 volt UPS and we will play with that idea but I'm just going to get the 24 volt inverter in here with those existing 100 amp hours what we'll have is we'll have two of these in uh, parallel and then two in series as well as the two 100 amp hours in parallel and two in series so we'll effectively end up with 380 out of these and 200 out of the others 580 amp hour at 24 volts thank you come again that's starting to get serious that's good storage um, and if the 24 volt inverter doesn't do a few of the things that I want it to do, we might uh, might swap it out for the 48 volt UPS. So I paid 400 and something dollars for the um, grey 100 amp hours. 100. Yeah, four hundred dollars. I think it was like one hundred and ten dollars each, actually. Um, it was like a hundred, 
amps plus GST, $100 10 GST or something, yeah. Like a sales tax, yeah. So, these are the beasts. I'm going to grab some wire out of the shed and just link them all together. It's a 12 volt system so I can bring them up to equalise voltage and uh, leave them sit until I'm ready to bring the others in here. But we're going to make a cool power system right here. You might recognise the room. This is the back room of the house. It used to be the back wall but you know, they put some walls around it. Got an off grid fridge we're going to use. That's our board for a motorhome. And just this bit over this side will have power system inverter all that mounted up here. Basically I want to be able to run my induction cooktop, a kettle, and some other bits and pieces. So not all at once, just one or the other, you know. Off my off-grid stuff. Mainly because we've just changed to a new power system, which I'll make a whole new video about. We've gone to time of day to peak and off peak use power, so that allows us to uh, pay a lot less for our electricity when we're uh, not using it during peak times. So, if we use it in the off peak times, we're basically just rewarded by the power company, and they'll actually, uh, I think it'd be fairly, mo fairly well the cheapest power in Australia. Um, it's about 14 cents a kilowatt hour. But yeah, like I say, I'll make a video about that separate. Pretty much straight up to float voltage. So, we'll get these connected up. There's going to be some solar panels up here. And uh, on the next roof over. And uh, the system will come in here, basically. we we'll use the 45 amp... Um, controller we've currently got but yeah I'll get the Victron 250 VA in here with a watt hour meter on it get these charged we'll do a capacity test that'll be the uh, next video that you'll see with these batteries thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one and uh, we'll get a capacity out of this bank it's gonna take a little bit of time but we'll get a capacity out of it and I'll come back catch you on the next vid guys that is cheap power. Don't forget to check your scrapyards.